What's up guys, it's your boy Blaze J back again for another video and today we got we're gonna be talking about the beta rewards the arena rewards and you know what they could do or what could happen in the full game um, and yeah These were the rewards for PvP the single player PvP And he says hey, did you find the, if they were good and you keep the same amount of one of the contents one pull was 120 gems so let's go back here. Seasonal rewards. Number one got 1200, so that's what, 10 multis? You know, if you're in top 10%, 6,000. You know, these are good rewards for the season, you know? Those are good rewards. Even if you're just playing it, you get one multi guaranteed. Seasonal, right? And then we go to the leagues, starting from bronze. You know, it goes from rewards, you get these once, once you reach them. Uh, the rewards right here, um, all the way to legend. And you like, if you just reach it, you get what like, it just gets higher and higher. And then we go back. Um, we got weekly rewards too. So wherever you land in the week, that's how much you get. And they got these currencies too. Um, so let's see. You get so right here. You get a multi. You're guaranteed a multi once you reach champion. Champion five. You get a multi guaranteed. And if you just go up, you just get more and more and more. Legend one. You get these a hundred of these currency, which is I don't know. I forgot what they were used. I don't remember because like the PvP sent, like the PvP season ended. Cause it was only a week or two, and. We didn't really have a shot for these. But yeah, I remember where did I leave off of in the beta. I remember, I think I was in Challenger. If I remember correctly. And these are single player PvP rewards, guys. Single player. Alright. So. It's easy if you know what you're doing. Like, once you get used to how they set up their team. And because they set up their teams and what attacks they can do first and stuff like that. And if you know how to, you know, strategize. And once once the meta is found on the game, you can pretty just run what's meta and get all the way to legend, pretty much. And I'm pretty sure after legend, that's when you know people start keep playing just to get higher rank. So like top 100 get these rewards in the season and stuff like that which I do see you know I don't know if the question is I have it here will they change these rewards that question is very hard because we've we got it once like we don't know what to go off of because we didn't get these rewards I'm pretty sure because the season I feel like is the whole month and then these are the weekly and then the first time rewards. Uh, in my opinion, they should keep it like this. And I think they're gonna keep it like this because I don't think it's too broken. The only thing probably too broken is like the monthly rewards, but those are like, per month. And like, come on, that is monthly. Like, hap like in Grand Cross, champion, let's say champion, you get multi guaranteed. You actually get two multi guaranteed, except that he sends. If you get champion one, you get two multis guaranteed, and here you don't even get two multis. I mean, past the first week, past the first time getting here, you get two multis. Like, the first time you get here, you get two multis, and that's it. Like, every other time you get up to legend one, you get this right here, 1740. So, it's like a multi and some change. And... I feel like they won't change them. Just going based off how Seven Days Sin does it, and um, other PvP games usually that I play aren't that generous as Seven Days Sin is, which is weird. Like Legends has, you have to get really high rank just to get a multi. It's terrible. And then oh, well, Dokkan, they don't even have PvP. Be Bleach, don't even get. 
orbs. I mean, they give you some currency that you can buy orbs, but those are expensive, so. And, the like, how many players would you think is in top 10%? Top, because if we go off of, because the beta was, you know, very small, so. The certain amount of people got, to, like, almost everyone got top 10%. Pretty much. No, no, not really. Top 10% is based off, like, everyone, so. Hmm. It depends on how many people playing the game. We got, like, what, 500k downloads, right? So, you being in top 10% could be very likely if you the average player. But, yeah. These rewards are very good. I do think they'll stay the same. Um... They could change it possibly but I don't think they'll increase it maybe they'll increase it who knows if they increase it, that's a big dub but if not then well that sucks but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these rewards I certainly do think they're very good I really like the system how you first get into like um, uh, like uh, what is this called like a placement a league the league placement like every time you reach it the first time you get rewards this kind of reminds you of like that my hero stuff where you keep grinding up and you get the rewards but yeah this is really good um let me know what you guys think about the rewards um in the comments down below and if you would want more or, or you think it's just right let me know because this is gonna be it for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed we'll get the release date anytime soon Trust me, I hope so. I'm coping. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take care.